YouTube channel. My name is Eva Rosie. Today I'm gonna be sharing with us how to make a bomber jacket with a high neck. But before I continue, I would like to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers, my friends, and my families that are out there supporting my channel. I want to say a very big thank you to you all. God bless you all. I love you all. And to my new subscribers, you are welcome back to my channel. You are welcome. And if you are new on my channel and this is your first time, I want to say thank you for coming around. And I wouldn't want you to leave without hitting on that subscribe button and also turning on that notification bell so that any moment I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you all so very much for my last video. You guys really did amazing so i'm so grateful for everything that happened god bless you all so i'm gonna start by drawing my first line which is going to be my shoulder line i'm gonna start by drawing my first line this is my first line that is my shoulder line and i will draw another line that will stand for the zipper allowance because it's going to have a zipper at the front So the full length of the jacket is going to be 24 inches. It's going to be 24 inches. And I will draw a line down here. I will measure it and draw out the 24 inches. But before the 24 inches, I'm going to take 21 inches and the rest that will Completed 24 inches is going to be the band. So I'm going to mark 21 inches and connect with a straight ruler. So why this remaining 3 inches will be for the band. So this is the band and this is the other part of the jacket. So I will take my shoulder measurement. I'm going to take seven and a half inches as my shoulder measurement. And I will come down by one inch and I will take my neck measurement. My neck measurement is going to be three by four inches. The depth is going to be 3, while the other part, the width, is going to be 4 inches. Then I will connect with a straight, uh, a curve ruler, like this. Then I will measure 1 inch for the back neck. And I will connect this as well. So the front and the back neck is ready then i'm gonna take my armhole i have a seven and a half as my armhole as well then i will connect it with a straight ruler Then I'm going to take the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 38 divided by 4. I'll mark 9.5. And, and coming to the waist measurement, the waist measurement is 16. From shoulder to the waist is 16 inches. But um, I'm going to skip that because a jacket is just, is just straight. But before then, let me connect my shoulder slope. I am taking my shoulder slope to the neckline. I don't want to take it to the standard neck width. The reason is because it's a high neck jacket. So I'm going to connect it direct to the four inches that I have here. So because it's a high neck, you have to take note of that. So I'm going to connect my armhole. I will come down. I will come. I will get the midpoint. Then 
go in by one inch by half an inch and connect with my ruler So I'm going to take my bus measurements, which I've already done, that is nine and a half. And the hip measurement is going to be 42 inches divided by four. That will give me 10 and a half. Then I will mark 10 and a half. I will skip the waist measurement, it's not necessary. So I'm going to connect from up here down to the hip. So maybe if you feel like you want it to be a little bit curvy, that's your choice. You can just come in by half an inch and connect from up here like this. Connect from up here and come up and join it to this part. So as you can see, so I will cut this part and cut my band. Then let's get the sleeve. You have to get your material folded. Then I will draw a line, my first line. I'm going to draw my first line, which is here. Then the next thing to do is to draw my second line. These two lines will serve me as a guide. So, the next thing to do is to, I will divide my bust by 12. When you want to cut a sleeve, there is always a, 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 a formula that, that you need to follow. And that formula is dividing your bust by 12. Then, whatever you have, you will input that as your second line. So, I will divide my 38 by 12. And I will have 3.1. So I'm going to mark that 3.1 here. So, and I will connect it with a ruler. Like so. So the next thing to do is to measure my armhole. Whatever I have as my armhole measurement, I'll measure it round. Like so. So I have, I have um, eight and a half or nine. I have nine. Then I'm going to put nine here. I will put it here. So from that point, I'm going to connect to this starting line by the left, towards the left side. I will cross it. Then I will, the next step to take is to get the midpoint of this crossed slanted line. I will get the midpoint, I will measure it and get the midpoint. The midpoint, I have, I have 10 inches and I will get the midpoint, which is at this point. Then the next thing to do is to go up by half an inch, placing your ruler this way. I will go up by half an inch and I'm going to connect with my curve ruler from that point, from this point, I'm going to connect to this half an inch mark that I made. So I'm going to connect it like this down to the armhole. So this will be for the back. This will be for the back neckline and uh, the back armhole. So this is for the back. Then for the the front and um, armhole, I'm gonna connect like this. 
I will connect to this point first of all and I will turn my ruler like this and connect it down. So I hope you can see it very well. So the front and the back armhole is ready. So I'm going to measure my wrist. It depends on the measurements you need. If it's by the your arm or towards the wrist, but I have my measurement, the measurement of my sleeve as 19 inches. So I'm going to measure that 19 inches, which is at this point. Then the next thing to do is to measure round my wrist, whatever I have, I will input it here, have 12. Then I'm going to connect from way up here down to this part. And that's my sleeve. So this is the, the standard sleeve pattern. So whatever you want to achieve, whether it is puff sleeve or you want to go up from here or whatever you want to do, this is the basic standard sleeve that you need to take for you to achieve whatever you want to achieve. So I'm going to cut all of this and all the patterns and put them on my fabric, then cut out my fabric. We proceed. My paper already, so it's like a square or a rectangle, it's like a square, but the measurements are not the same. I'm going to take a measurement of six and a half on this part inches and on this part i'm going to take eight inches inches so the next thing to do is to measure from this angle i'm gonna measure two and a half inch two and a half inch and i will come in here by half an inch I'm just doing all of this to make sure that I get the accurate accurate uh, shape of the sleeve as you can see how it's looking. So you come down here, you go up by two inches, you make a mark and on this part, let me draw this line. So at this part, you have to go in by one inch and you will make a mark. So here you come in by two and a half inch, you make a mark. Then here you go up by two inch. Then you come in here by one inch. So from this angle, I'm going to come in like so then i will connect from this point to this mark like so then from here i'm gonna connect down to the full length of the pocket and on this part i'm gonna connect to this point as you can see so i'm gonna connect from up here down to this part and take it down to this place so my sleeve is ready so the next thing to do is to measure here where you will pass your hand through so i'm gonna measure it i have six and a half and i'm going to get a band a, 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 like um another thing of this nature going to cut a fabric of this nature it's going to be two and a half inch by six and a half inch so it's gonna place by the side of the pocket like this it will be placed on the side of the pocket so when you put your hand
front panel where I'm going to be adding my zipper. Then what I want to do, and this is the back panel, I'm going to take this and place and match the back side and match the front side together. And I will take this part and match them together. And I'm going to join the shoulder. I'm going to run a stitch on the shoulder. And on this side, I will do the same thing. And I will do the same thing on my on my lining. seam you have joined the everything that you need to join with your sewing machine so you have to measure it round you have to measure it round look at what I am doing you measure round your neck you take it round and whatever your measurement is so like here I have 10 I have four here at the back and I have almost like six at the front. So that is what I'm gonna put in here. So I will get a paper, as you can see, I have a paper. Let me remove this. I have a paper that is folded in half. So when you fold it in half like this, the next thing to do is to draw a line a straight line from here so you measure the back of your neck from the center of your neck whatever you have is what you're gonna apply here so for this client i have i have four inches so i'm gonna mark four inches so whatever i have as the circumference of the neck that is what i'm gonna measure on this line so I have 10, so I'm going to mark 10 inches here and I will extend the line up like this. So I will go up here by one and a half inch like so. Then I'm going to connect with my curve ruler. So the, the down part of the neck is sorted out. So let's take the height of the neck. If you want three centimeter, it depends on how, how you want it. So, but for this client I'm taking, I'm gonna place my, my tape like this, like you are trying to achieve a little bit of angle 90, then you mark three inches, then you take it way down, Place the three inches on the line that you already marked. Then get three inches all through. Then you connect with your ruler. So on this part, I'm going to connect it to this line. 